Hello, and welcome to Your Life Choices, Simplifying Technology Series. I'm Anne, and this week we're going to show you how to back up all of the data from your iPhone or iPad so you can keep it safe in case you lose your device or it's stolen. To do this, you'll need a Mac or a PC with iTunes installed. If you don't have iTunes, you can download it from the link below. Once you've got iTunes installed and ready to go, you'll need a USB cord. One of these comes in the box with your iPhone or iPad. You may be using it to charge your device. If so, unplug the cord from the wall charger. Now plug the USB end into the computer and the other end into your iPhone or iPad. Now you may have to wait up to 30 seconds for your computer to recognise your device. Don't be alarmed if it takes some time. When your iPhone or iPad is recognised, it will pop up in iTunes, just like mine has. Yours will probably show up with your name, but it may just be called iPhone or iPad. Click on the name of your device to bring up the Summary tab, and here you will see the Backup section. Underneath the title Automatically Backup, you can click the option which says This Computer. If you do this, your iPhone or iPad will automatically back itself up whenever you plug it into your computer. Now to perform your first backup, click the Backup Now button underneath the Manually Backup and Restore title. This process will take a few minutes, so make sure it's finished before you unplug your device and remember to safely disconnect by pressing the Eject button next to your device's name on the left-hand side of iTunes. And that's all there is to safely backing up your device. If ever you get a new iPhone or iPad and you want to put all of your old information back onto it, or something goes wrong with your current one and you're advised to restore a previous backup, click File at the top of the iTunes window and then select Devices. Then click Restore from Backup and it'll be just like having your old one back. You should now have a complete backup of your iPhone or iPad saved to your computer and be able to restore it in just a few clicks if need be. Thank you for watching Your Life Choices Simplifying Technology Series. Please let us know in the comments section below if there are any other tutorials you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Today we've got a few great tips to help make your iPhone or iPad's battery last longer because there's nothing worse than being out and about and having your phone or your tablet die on you.